at the Lynn Redgrave Theater for Q's Punishment. <laughs> Tonight, buddy, you're going to be a playwright who is presenting his work to a theater of professional actors. The audience are going to be reading excerpts from your plays, plays that we've written. That's right. <laughs> I'm a playwright. More no, I play, play wrong! wrong. <laughs> <laughs> These are actual actors that came here to read a playwright's new work. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm a playwright here in New York. <laughs> you don't look like a playwright at all, bud. We're going to be workshopping a couple of things today. Read a few scenes out here where you think. I don't know if any of you have participated in something like this before. Uh-oh. OK. I need one male and one female. Who's in? Yes. Yes. OK, great. Q and these actors have no idea what's in store for them. I need one male and one female. Who's in? Yes. Yes. Now, this, this is a play uh, inspired me. by my real life. This play is uh, inspired by my, my true life. No, Q, it really is, buddy. <laughs> so my banged up life, this guy's totally, he's getting into it. I hope there's good work for him to use. <laughs> um, a young Ryan Quinn walks along the beach with his girlfriend, Mallory. Beautiful day, right? Yeah, right, whatever. What are you doing? I'm texting a hot cop. <laughs> In case you didn't know, Q's ex left him for a cop. Yep. Hey, I have a question for you. Yeah, OK, whatever. Ryan picks up a hidden ring from a pile of trash on the boardwalk. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Q, Q hid a wedding ring under a pile of trash yeah. when he proposed. I never thought I would meet someone who loves me, despite my so many flaws. I'm heavy set. I sweat profusely from my armpits. <laughs> so much sweat. I've tried everything. It doesn't stop, nonstop. <laughs> Such bad writing. I fly into a rage at the slightest thing. I have a chemical imbalance of some kind. <laughs> Is there a question here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Would you marry me? OK, but two weeks before the wedding, I'm going to dump you and marry a cop. <laughs> That's actually what happened to Q. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. Yeah, I, I really will. Yay, we're engaged! <laughs> End scene. Good play you wrote, Q. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, last thing I want to do before we wrap up. And the last thing I want to do uh, here. I have some synopsises of stories I'm thinking about writing. I have some synopsis of some other stories that I'm thinking about writing. Q has no idea what any of these plays are about, and he has no idea what any of the dialogue or the, or the actual lines are. Uh, first is uh, Tender Hearts. A young hotshot named Dill meets his perfect woman, Linda, online. In this scene, Dill confronts Linda for looking much more Asian in a profile picture than she is in real life, <laughs> and he threatens, to, he threatens to sue her for false advertising. <laughs> Anybody, uh, nobody likes, nobody likes that one. Uh, moving on. Another one is Code Red. In 1982, women are starting to think they can play with the big boys. <laughs> in this play, a female doctor has to face discrimination from the rest of the hospital staff. In the scene that we have so far, for instance, she proves she's a doctor by performing a breast augmentation on herself. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> Rasta imposter. I can't even watch this one. Oh, my god. Set in the islands down by the bay, there is a Rasta man who play the drums and make the village happy. <laughs> in this scene, we see the man coming down on the Rasta and forcing him to give up to the drums he loves. Oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> 